What is a cell made up of? Cell has special components known as organelles. The important structures of the cell includes plasma membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm. Cell membrane is made up of proteins and fats. Functions of cell membrane Cell membrane defines the shape of the cell. It protects the inner wall contents and regulates the movement of molecules in and out of the cell. In plant cell, plasma membrane is present below cell wall. Activity Aim to observe cell membrane in plant. Materials required Rio leaf, slide, cover slip, electron microscope. Method Take a small piece of rio leaf peel with light colored portion. Put it on slide and put a drop of water on it. Cover it with cover slip. Observe the light portion of leaf under the electron microscope. Observation Cell membrane can be seen in cell wall. Cell wall is seen in plant cells. In a plant cell, there is an extra layer outside the cell membrane. This is known as cell wall. The plant cell wall is made up of a complex substance called cellulose which gives strength to the plants. Role of cell walls in plants Cell walls allow the cells of plants to withstand hypotonic external media without bursting. In such media, the cell swells by taking up water by osmosis and building up pressure against the cell wall. The wall exerts an equal pressure against the swollen cell. When we put an animal cell or a plant cell into a solution of sugar or salt, following three things would occur. The cell will gain water by osmosis when the outside solution is very dilute, such a solution is known as hypotonic solution. There will be no net movement of water across the cell membrane when the medium has exactly the same water concentration as the cell such a solution is known as isotonic solution. The cell will lose water by osmosis in a concentrated solution. Such a solution is known as hypotonic solution. Osmosis is a passage of water from a region of high water concentration through a semi-permeable membrane to a region of low water concentration. Activity Aim To demonstrate osmosis with dried raisins. Materials required Dried raisins Sugar solution Beaker and water Method Take a few dried raisins and keep them in a beaker containing water for some time. Then place them into a concentrated sugar solution. Observation Dried raisin swells when kept in beaker containing water. In this process, the cell gained water by osmosis. Dried raisins shrink when placed in beaker containing concentrated sugar solution. In this process, the cell lost water by osmosis. Nucleus There is the control center of the cell, the nucleus, surrounded by a protective outer covering called the nuclear membrane. Nucleus plays a very important role in cellular reproduction. In this process, a single cell divides and forms two new cells. The nucleus contains chromosomes. Chromosomes contain information for inheritance of features from parents to offsprings in the form of DNA. In a cell which is not dividing, DNA is present as a part of chromatin material. Chromatin material 
is observable as knotted mass of thread-like structures. Whenever the cell is about to divide, the chromatin materials gets organized into chromosomes. Cells are categorized into two types such as prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. Pro means primitive and karyote means nucleus. Activity Aim to observe the nucleus in the onion peel. Materials required Onion peel, glass slide, cover slip, glycerin and microscope. Method Take a piece of an onion peel. Place it on the slide. Put a drop of water and then a drop of glycerin on it. Gently cover it with a cover slip. Observe it under microscope. Observation Nuclei are observed in the cells of onion peel. Cytoplasm Cytoplasm is the thick, jelly-like substance that makes up most of the cell. The part of the cell between the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane is called cytoplasm. The cytoplasm consists of transparent semi-fluid substance called matrix. Cell organelles. Special components of the cells are called cell organelles. Example, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, mitochondria, plastids, vacuoles. Endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane-bound tubes. Types of endoplasmic reticulum include rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum has particles called ribosomes attached to its surface. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Areas that do not have ribosomes on them are smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in detoxifying many poisons and drugs in the liver cells of vertebrates. Membrane Biogenesis The process in which cell membrane is formed with the help of proteins and lipids. Golgi Apparatus Camilo Golgi described Golgi Apparatus which consists of a system of membrane-bound vesicles that are arranged parallel to each other in stacks called cisterns. The membranes of a Golgi apparatus have connections with the membranes of endoplasmic reticulum. They also help in the formation of lysosomes. Lysosomes keep the cells clean by digesting foreign materials. They break the foreign materials like bacteria or food into small pieces with the help of digestive enzymes. When the cells get damaged, lysosomes burst and the enzymes are released into the cells. Therefore, lysosomes are also called as suicide bags of the cell. Mitochondria Mitochondria are small, spherical or cylindrical organelles. It has two compartments, an outer compartment and an inner compartment. It has two membranes, outer membrane and in a membrane. They have their own DNA and ribosomes. As a result, they are able to make some of their own proteins. Inside the cell, mitochondria use the oxygen for respiration and energy production in the forms of ATP. So they are called as powerhouse of the cell. Plastids Plastids are found only in plant cells. Plastids also have their own DNA and ribosomes. Chromoplasts, colored plastids, and leucoplasts, white, colorless plastids, are the two types of plastids. Leucoplast stores materials such as starch, oils, and protein granules. Chloroplast is the type of plastid that contains chlorophyll apart from yellow or orange pigments. The primary function 
of fluoroplast is to trap solar energy and convert it into chemical energy to perform photosynthesis. Activity Aim to observe chloroplast in Rio leaf. Materials required Rio leaf, slide, compound microscope. Method Take a peel of Rio leaf and place it on a slide and add a drop of water to it. Observe it under compound microscope. Observation Small green granules can be observed. These are chloroplast. Vacuoles The large empty spaces present in the cells are vacuoles. In plant cells, vacuoles are very big and they contain cell sap that provides rigidity to the cells. In animal cells, vacuoles are small in size. In amoeba, the food vacuoles contain the food items that the amoeba has consumed. In unicellular organisms, vacuoles help in expelling excess water and some waste from the cell. Activity Aim to observe plant vacuole. Materials required Stem of succulent plant Dilute saffronin solution Watch glass and microscope Method Take thin cross section of stem of cactus in a watch glass containing water. Stain it with dilute saffronin solution. Observe it under microscope. Observation Large empty spaces are there in the cell. These are vacuoles.